everybody today is a beautiful sunny day in Australia and it is a lovely Saturday but today I have been over to Pure Candle Supplies getting some things so that I can show you how I'm going to make these gorgeous little products so what we've got first of all is we do have these so these are car diffusers so if you haven't seen them they come in three pieces so you have the clear glass then you have the top piece and then you also have I've got to find them these and these are little caps that go inside and that stops them spilling uh you know obviously if you sell them to somebody else and you've got to send them in the mail that's what actually stops them but today I'm going to do something a little more special as well and I'm going to include snips that I've actually done pre-done a video today for you which I'm going to add at the end of this and this is all about how I actually put my own label logo on the top now this is actually burnt into this wood uh, my daughter does have a professional etching laser machine and it etches into concrete wood um, you know it, it even cuts um, oh you know all different plastics and things like that so it's an amazing machine it's quite expensive but amazing but I thought I'm going to show you along the way so you can see exactly what I'm doing and what it takes I'll also give you the recipe to making these as well now I do use a base for these there's many types of things you can use but you can't just use oils because what happens is the oils are just going to get clogged up because once you take the cap off um this wood piece here is going to soak in you know all of those scents and then it's going to slowly release it through the wood that's basically how it works uh, so very important and it is important when you've got these not to tip them upside down once the cap's out because they will spill everywhere so you tell people you know just literally screw this back in once the cap is not in so we'll just pretend that it's got its liquid in screw it in and then you're going to hang it up but you don't want them to do this because otherwise it will seep through this and just basically naturally what it's going to do is it's going to with the car rocking and moving it's going to splash onto the wood on the inside and just release the aroma that you want for the car diffuser so anyway that's what that is all about but I'm really loving them I love the little symbol my daughter did and I will put like a little symbol on the front so that they know what scent um, it is but you don't need to do that so so let's pop the camera down I'm going to put on some gloves because we are using um, you know some diffuser base so you do need gloves definitely need gloves with this so let's get making and I'll show you how easy this is so let's get going everybody we have the bottles all sitting here ready now on the machine here this is actually the tray within the laser machine I'm just lining them up so the top of the caps are upwards and that way uh, the laser machine uh, can take their photos and get them all ready so basically once we have done this little bit we're going to make sure the lid is uh, totally closed and the whole machine is ready to go then we have to go over to the computer and tell the computer exactly where we want the symbols to go so here what this is doing is it's actually taking a photo of the tray of all of the items that we just lined up and then what we're going to be doing is we're literally just going to be dragging the symbol over it so you can see here this is the computer and it's totally ready and now I'm just dragging my logo onto each one and it's going to tell the machine uh, how to actually cut it and uh, so on or you know label it because some of the machines cut and so on now here is the laser that you can see I thought I would show you in real form so that you can see what it's actually doing so basically the lid is closed we have told the computer to tell uh, the laser machine you know what to do so it basically talks to the machine so it's very very clever and a little bit high tech I have to admit but it does look super beautiful so it is laser burning it straight into the wood it can put this on tin it can also put it on glass concrete of course wood acrylics there's so many things that you can actually do you can cut things or you can simply engrave them so now it's done all of that we're going to lift up the lid we will get them all out and don't they look amazing like I just absolutely love them 
right so let's get going so on here I do have my scale of course you need a scale I've torn the scale out and I'm just going to use this um, as a measuring device so basically what we want to have is I've got my fragrance here we want to have 25% fragrance and then we want to go and have 75% of the base uh, whether you're making the base yourself or not this is what we're going to do so first of all we are going to be adding that in but let me put gloves on because I did almost forget um, not that I've touched anything yet so it doesn't really matter but um, you know it can this can be really strong the base so I definitely do suggest that you put gloves on I mean obviously no one's putting this on their skin or anything this is a diffuser but it's definitely better to wear gloves to make sure that we're doing everything the safest way we can so in here we are going to be adding in 25 um, mils into this I'm doing this in mils and the and the only reason I'm saying 25 is I'm going to do several of them and then I know this will make um, several of them rather than doing that let me just pour it in because I'm getting a bit lazy waiting a 24 so let me just add a little bit more uh, there you go so there's 25 mils in that uh, and you can do this however you want you can measure it in grams mils as long as 25 percent is the fragrance and then of course the rest is the diffuser so all we're going to do is literally pour this in because we want this to equal 100 and then this is our 75 uh, grams so we will carefully add this in and we want to make sure the measurements are right all right so exactly 100 which is pretty good let's just give it a bit of a mix with this um, and it should just mix itself in and then we will know what's right and wrong won't we and I can already smell how lovely it smells so all we're going to do now is literally pop this in so we'll take that off there take this away So now we do have this now if you want to you can actually add some little petals or you can add some biodegradable glitter whatever you want in it so for this purpose I'm just going to add some of these so these are little corn flowers you know you honestly you need some tweezers or something like just for today I'm just going to show you but I mean honestly we just want a couple so I mean you can just sit it over the top you can see how hard it is to get it in without tweezers but you only want like can you see that tiny amount I just wouldn't be putting heaps more maybe a couple more anyway so we will move this out the way and then basically what we're going to do is put it in this so let's tear out the scale so that we can see how many mils we're adding we'll just go back to that and you know we know that we've mixed this up so let's just put the right amount in and this will actually help us know how much is going in here as well um i think they're like 10 i'm gonna say maybe i can't remember how many mils it was i think it's like 10 or something but i will like double check after but if you want to do them in grams you can 100 percent do them in a gram i think it is 10. My scale's not a happy camper today so I might double check with the second one I'm going to do because I can see it's not even adding that up but anyway this is eight so far in that so if you can see that and um, that's basically a simple now can you see the little tiny bits of flowers there see how the because this has got an oil base it kind of um, lets them sit at the top I hope you can see like let me put my glove behind can you see them now with the glove behind doesn't it look pretty so anyway that's what we're going to do with that then they do give you these like I said these little tiny caps and so I'm going to show you what we're going to do so then we've got this little cap so if you can see because it's so little um let me show you really really little then it does have a top side which is flat like a hammer sort of side and then one that's a little bit dipped in so all we're going to do is literally get that push it in the top and could you hear that click see how it's clicked in and now it's not going to spill there's nothing coming out of that uh, when somebody buys this then they need to remove that so we have done this so now we're just going to get this top piece here and um, obviously we are going to tie this tight on here um, so then 
there you go so then that is literally what somebody's going to get and from me as we said my label is on the top and don't they look so darling I mean if you don't want to um you probably don't have to put your picture on that the front but you definitely would need to add some instructions there's not a lot of room but you could make a tag and attach the tag uh to this part of the video so uh, sorry not videos so this part of the actual string so that's what I think I'm probably going to do is add a tag on here um, so that somebody can see exactly what it is so that's nice and easy isn't it and then this bit here you know with the little wood then they can just attach this to the cart and pull it up and tighten a knot or whatever they want um, at the end but doesn't it look darling hopefully you can actually see the you know little um bits in it and if we give it a bit of a shake you can see all of those little blue bits so this one is going to be my barry's daughter one and i love it i think it just looks so so pretty and obviously i have all of this in here which i can use for that which i definitely will will fill them all up um and yeah basically that is it my friends so i do hope that this has been um you know quite handy for you to see because i've never really seen anyone do the car diffuser ones um but i just think it's a lovely thing to watch so then you can see how amazing they can look and let's just do another one and we'll see because my scale didn't love me before um so i'm just going to see because i put it down to zero now and let's just see what we can actually get in this one because I'm doing mills, it doesn't love it. It's still saying there's nothing in it. I'm pretty sure it's 10, but I'm going to do a little bit more of, of this just to make sure that I'm right because you want to tell people exactly what's in it. You do need to do that, especially if you're in Australia. In Australia, you do need to tell people exactly what they're getting. Uh, you can't say six if it's going to be four. Um, you need to tell them i'm pretty sure it's eight because the other one did measure up to be eight and this one is eight there you go so doesn't that look so cute so once again everything's done up fill it up to the top so that way they're getting what they want and um yeah so and i think for anyone that wants to know i did buy the bag of 25 i think it was roughly 56 dollars uh, for the bag um, and then of course you know it's going to cost more money depending on whether you pay to get these fixed or um, you know labels whatever you're going to put on them is obviously going to cost you money so please make sure that you add all of that on before you go selling these but anyway we are done today and i will show you all the rest so let's go into the next part of the video where we show you exactly how we've gone and put all the laser printing to make these amazing so i hope that you love it and of course i'll put a video at the end a little piece at the end so you can see them all finished and looking absolutely amazing